Good morning. Good morning. Hello. It is uh, December 3rd. <laughs> and um, welcome to the day two of 12 days of Vlogmas. Um, I am in my pajamas. But it's early. Um, drinking some coffee. I'm boiling some water. I'm going to make some oatmeal. And then I'm planning on getting dressed today. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to leave the house. I have a bunch of work to do. But I do have a meeting later. Um, so... I'm gonna get dressed. But I thought I would do our advent calendars while I wait for my water to boil. So we'll start, of course, with our Hello Kitty OPI. Um, so day three. And as always, it's hard to get these things out. Um, so last night I went to dinner with Richard's parents and Richard. Um, and I ended up wearing the green plaid dress, which if you watched the other vlog, maybe you saw I had put that. Oh my God. I'm like ripping this. <laughs> These are so hard to get out. Um, anyway, so we had a really nice dinner. It was fun and it was nice to see them because I haven't seen them in a while. Um, y'all, I don't know if I can show you the nail polish because I can't get it out of the thing. Oh, I got it. Okay. So we've got another um, in the red family. This is much more of a pink. Can you see the difference here? I'll get the other one. You can see them side by side. Do they look the same to you? In person, I can tell the difference. This is the one from yesterday. It's much more red. This is definitely like a dark pink. So, um,. I don't want to swatch it on my nail because then I just have to wipe it off. So let me swatch it on a post-it note. <laughs> um, anyway, so I had fun last night and I felt really cute. I should have taken like an outfit of the day or something. So here is the color swatched. I hope that the colors are coming through. It's like a really beautiful dark pink. That's nice. I like that a lot. Um, I wish that these had names so I could tell you. I am going to put a link in the description box. I did it for the last video too, just to OPI polishes at Target because they have a number of colors there. Um, so if you wanna see what they do have, you can click on that link and see what's there. Um, okay, so the next one, it's our Body Shop Advent Calendar. And um, where's three? I'm trying to look in the reflection of my laptop screen. Okay, I see it, I can't get to it, hold on. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much for your comments um, from yesterday's vlog. Well, I think it, it released today. <laughs> it's so weird, Vlogmas, sorry, I'm pushing you back. Vlogmas is so weird because you like film and then you upload and um, like things are, the dates matter to people. Anyway, it went up today, but you're not gonna see this one until, what? I made a, a schedule. Um, so on Thursday, here I drew out the whole month of December because I have so much going on, like with the classes that I teach, the party that I'm throwing with Richard, my private yoga clients, and then YouTube videos that I wanna make. So I made this calendar on a, uh, notepad um, because I really needed to see everything all at once because also in there I've got to do holiday shopping and oh all the things um but yeah so I think I'm going to release vlogmas videos on Tuesday Wednesday Saturday or Tuesday Thursday Saturday except for the last week where that schedule gets uh mixed up just a little bit so Tuesday Thursday Saturday you can expect vlogmas videos from me so you'll see this on Thursday. Okay, so here is the box. Oh, that's French. All right, so every day they have a different fact because the theme of this, in case you missed the first video, the theme of this advent calendar is Dream Big, which is about um, encouraging uh, young women and women in general to dream big. So here's the fact for today. Emmeline Pankhurst founded the Women's Social and Political Union in 1903 to campaign for women's right to vote, becoming the leader of the British suffragette movement. Yay! Okay, so day three, it has this cute um, drummer, drummer girl. <laughs> I was almost a drummer boy. <laughs> All right. 
what is it? Ooh, Juicy Pear Shower Gel. I love their Juicy Pear scent, oh my God. Oh, yes. That smells so good. I'm gonna use this in my shower today. Mm. Okay, I really like Body Shop products um, because I've, I mean, I even in junior high, I was buying stuff from the Body Shop, so I've always loved their products. I like their scents. I like that um, they're usually, or I don't know if usually, but they're often vegan, they're cruelty-free, like, they've just been a really good company for a long time. Um, and so this is today's and this is a two ounce bottle and then I looked um, in the last video I linked this rose spray and um, this is the full size so two ounces so it's a full size product um, so that's very fun <laughs> and then also oh here it's still here the bath bomb from last time this is the regular size so I guess I never buy bath bombs from the body shop. This is their normal size. So I'm gonna try it out soon. I don't know if tonight, but soon I'm gonna try it out and tell you if that little guy is enough for a whole bath. All right, so I'm just gonna put our box back in so that everything can stay contained. There's some big boxes for some of these days. Where's tomorrow? Where's number four? Oh my God, it's like so hard to find. My water's boiling. Where's four? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so those are the advent calendars for today. And I will, um, again, in this video, in, in all the Vlogmas videos, I'll put a link to whatever I can link to in case you're interested. Um, thank you so much for the comments and suggestions about things that I can do for Vlogmas. I've gotten so far, the video just released, like, not that long ago, but so far I've gotten... Um, a request for a bake with me video so that might happen um, but definitely I'll do some kind of cook with me video and um, keep the comments coming I love it thank you so much for watching these for um, being here in the community anyway I'm gonna come back later um, I gotta go make my oatmeal but I'm gonna come back later and try on the orange sweater and the neon yellow puffer jacket that I got from Torrid because um, I've had a number of requests to try them on because I just showed you them and I forgot to put them on so that's coming later. Hello. <laughs> so this is in my office. You usually see me sitting in front of this um, and I had started this backdrop journey a few months ago. I bought these shears from Ikea and I already had uh, curtain rods so I just hung them up and then the shears hang down but I want them to be a little more opaque. So I bought some more and have washed and dried them so they're not creased from being in the package. <sighs> anyway, so they've been sitting around um, on my dining room table. Here's a bug. They've been sitting around on my dining room table waiting for me to like get the energy to do something with them. And uh, I finally am going to today. She looks terrified. That is how she always looks. Anyway, so this is the before, and once I get them up, I'll show you the after, and we'll see if I'm satisfied or if I, um, I'm going to have to buy even more. <laughs> uh, hopefully not, because it's a pain in the butt to take this curtain rod down and add more on. All right, so I've added panels in, mostly extra here and here. This middle section, I only added one in because it already had more than the other, so... I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied. I don't feel like I need to buy more. All right, I'm <laughs> I'm very excited that this is done. And then my next step with this is eventually I wanna hang twinkle lights uh, behind the tool because I think that will be pretty, but who knows when that will actually happen because effort. <laughs> okay, so in the interest of self-care, um, and I need to test the pool. I am going to test it from inside the pool and spend a little bit of time uh, floating and relaxing because I feel a little overwhelmed by the holiday season this year and all the stuff that's going on and I'll talk more about that as we progress through the month but I was like I need to go test this pool. It's not my pool. Um, so I live next door to my parents. We rent the house that they own and uh, they recently put in this 
above ground but very nice pool and a cover eventually there's going to be a deck that goes all the way around and connects to the deck across from here um but it just went in this is actually the first time i've been in this pool i'm very excited anyway but i've got my test and stuff <laughs> and i'm gonna clean some leaves out test the water and float around for a little bit so mm, fun Hey y'all! So it is Wednesday the 4th <laughs> of December and I am here. I'm wearing real clothes. You may recognize this dress it, um, if you've watched a lot of my videos. I got this at Anthropology um, over the summer but I've saved it to wear for the fall and winter because um, if you sweat at all in this, like at all, you can see like a wet spot and it's not cute. So. I'm really excited. I've worn it a couple times this fall and um, it's great <laughs> now that I'm not like sweating. But y'all know Houston in the summer is so humid and hot. It's like you're gonna sweat. So while this would be a great dress for the summer because it's really lightweight, like I can't do it. Anyway, I'm here for the advent calendar. So we're gonna open her up. This is the OPI Hello Kitty. So I'm gonna open day four. Ooh, okay. Let me show you. It looks like maybe a white polish. Uh, no, it's not a perfect white, maybe. Here's where I struggle to get it out. So um, while I struggle, I will tell you about my day so far. So it is 12.09 on Wednesday. And, um, ooh, that was better than yesterday. And so far today, I have um, done some laundry. I have um, picked up around the house a little bit. It's not too bad because yesterday I went in and like super um, picked up most of the stuff because uh, it was house cleaning day. <laughs> and so um, I've been decorating for Christmas and stuff so there's just like things everywhere. Oh my gosh. Is there stuff in my teeth? Well, if there is, sorry. <laughs> I just ate lunch. Um, I made some... I had some um, korma, which is an Indian sauce, and so I cooked that with some fake chicken and peas, and I ate that over some leftover just plain noodles that we had. Okay, so this actually is, I think, maybe just a white, um, you know, as always, there's no name on it, but that's really fun. I don't have any white polish. I don't know if the girls would like this or if I should keep this for me. I'll have to think about it, but I did start a post-it note swatch page. <laughs> so I don't have to swatch it on my hand and then, or on my nail and then like immediately wipe it off. So this is day four and I'm just keeping a little track of the days so we don't forget. They're obviously in the wrong order. This is gonna drive some people crazy, but I started it in a weird way. So here you can see days one through four <laughs> for our polishes and if you um i love opi polish i think it's really nice quality uh if you are wanting to get some i'll link uh opi in the description box um i've just been linking to a page on the target website uh because they have a bunch of colors there and they um probably have you know a good price uh for the polish okay here we go the body shop dream big deluxe advent calendar um, so it's big, <laughs> it's heavy, <laughs> um, and every box has, oh my god, I'm moving all this stuff around on my desk as I try to move these doors, uh, every box has like a fact about women on it, so let's see, today is, oh, day four, so it looks like this, let me lay her down, Oh. Okay, so, oh, this is very thin. And our fact for today is, gifted mathematician Ada Lovelace is considered the world's first computer programmer. Fun, I actually did know that. All right, so let's open it up and see. These are so exciting, <laughs> these body shop ones. Okay. Oh, it's a nail file. Nice, okay, so it says on there, the future is female, or just future is female. Um, and then this side says, dream big girl. Dream big girl. 
and it has the body shop. So I'm gonna keep this for myself uh, because I always need nail files um, because I am trying really hard not to bite my nails. So for the longest time, I'm like already fixing my nails. I See, I need this. Um, for a lot of my life, I was a nail biter and um, not just like, I would like kind of bite a little bit, but I would really just like kind of like use my fingers mostly, just like kind of peeling the nail off and then they would get really short. And then I have a bad habit of um, messing with the cuticles. Like I'm just like, I'm a picker, I'm a, you know. Um, and so my mom was like, you're, you're gonna have those nails forever. You're always gonna have like, you know, bitten off nails and like bloody cuticles and stuff. Um, and as an adult, I've gotten a lot better about it. And so that's why I really try to um, keep my nails like filed because any little rough edge or something is like ugh, it just makes me want to like get in there and so um also the shape i found that having this like more round shape well they're not like well done right now but having a rounder shape and not like the kind of square edge or the square rounded um when it's like that it, it's more likely to make me want to like mess with it so i found that this like rounder almondy shape like that um the round edge kind of keeps me from doing that but um my cuticles are looking rough i used to be uh, i used to use the nail oil every day and now that it's not on my coffee table or on my little um side table at the couch like i'm not doing it so i need to be i need to be better about keeping it out it's like if i don't see it i forget that it exists but um, anyway, that's a little bit of information about my nails that you didn't ask to hear. But anyway, I'm excited about this nail file. It feels, um, like it's really thick. It feels like a good quality nail file. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep this one actually in here because I often find myself needing a nail file in the office and I don't have one. And so I end up messing with my nails. So I do have a nail file, um, in the living room. So now I have one in here. I'm very excited about that. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to put the box back into the advent calendar so we can keep the structure sound because there's like, it's not like little boxes that you open, you just pull the box out and then the other stuff can shift around. So I feel like I really got to put these back in. Okay, um, and then I think for the vlog today, I'm going to um, just in a minute try on those toward items that I told you I would that people have asked me to try on and then um, I want to so I just got an email about Sephora they're having um, like they have their big sales you know and so it's past Black Friday and Cyber Monday and everything and now people are doing like different sales but they're doing where if you are an insider a VIP or a Rouge level member of Sephora um, they're, they're like rewards program they're doing their special sales so I think I'll look at it again, but I think insiders get $15 off a purchase of $75 or more. VIB gets $20 off $75 and Rouge gets $25 or maybe it's percent anyway. But um, since that's going on, I thought this would be a good time for me to talk about like some of my favorite beauty products that you can find at Sephora and then I'll link them. So if you want to like check them out for you or for gifts, you can maybe take advantage of that sale. Um, Yes, and so I love Sephora. I shop Sephora a lot. I'm a VIB, so that's like the middle rewards level. It means that I've spent more than just an insider level, but not enough to be rouge, which is good. I don't want to be rouge. That's like bad news. I got in the mail yesterday. Oh, it's over there. This like red card from Tori that says icon on it and this note. I posted this on a story on Instagram. If you follow me there, you may have seen it. But I was like, there's like this note about like, oh, blah, blah, blah. We've created a special level, the Tori icon, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You get more rewards and whatever. I'm just, it basically just means that I spend a lot of money at Tori. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Ugh, when you get this in the mail, you know you shop a lot at Tori. Um... Okay, well that's a good segue. Speaking of, um, let me try that stuff on for you. <laughs> so this is the first item. This is like the brushed long line cardigan or something. I don't know. I'll put a link in the description box to it. So this comes in a bunch of different colors. I bought it in this like very, very orange, very bright orange color. <laughs> um, so here is what it looks like on. Here's my dress. You can see 
It has like a roughly flounce at the bottom. That's from Anthropology. Um, I'll look and see on their website. If they still have this dress, I'll link to it. Um, and if not, I'll just link to their sale page because Anthropology has good sale, <laughs> good sale stuff. Um, so this is like a really good, it's like a good thickness. It's not too thick, but it's not really thin. I think it's going to be nice and warm, but it's just brushed. So it has like a slightly fuzzy texture, but not too fuzzy. It has these nice pockets in the front. <coughs> I mean, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a little sweater cardigan. There you go. So this is a size four in case you're looking at sizes. Now, if you are a person who wants like you know, like a really like oversized, like cozy wrap around kind of feel. I would size up in this. This is a four. This is how I would want this to fit. Um, but if you, you know, and I totally get it. And I, I like that with other sweaters. I'm not looking for that from this sweater, but I do like, you know, kind of feeling like, oh, it's so big and I can wrap it around and it's just like super snugly. But this is how I wanted this one to fit. But just know that they don't run large. So if you want that kind of fit, you're going to want to size up. So this is the four, come forward so you can see the color maybe a little better. I'm like in shade right now, so I don't know if it's coming across the true color, but I know it comes in black, like in, um, I think there's a red one, a pink one, maybe a gray one. They have a bunch of colors of this. So if you don't like the color, but you like the, <laughs> the sweater then um, you might find another. I like the length of this. I think it's a nice length. Um, okay, I'll put the puffer on next. This is the packable puffer jacket from Torrid that I got. This also is <laughs> very bright and comes in more sedate colors if neon yellow is not your thing. So it does have hanging off a little whoop -dee up here, the bag that you can pack it down into. Um, let me, I'll show you that, but let me put it on. So I got the size five because I was worried about the fit around my belly and I'm glad that I did. A four would have fit up top, but not bottom. So here is the five up top for me. It's like, it's not even that big, honestly. I think this thing runs a little small. And then here's the fit of the five on the bottom. So you can see like, it's actually like the right size. Um, in some ways, I wish I would have gotten a six, but I also like, I think the top would have been like really big. So here is the puffer zipped. All right, so here you go. This is what it looks like. So here on the bottom, you can see there's not like a ton of space here. Now in the video that I made, the Torrid haul, I said that I thought that I would have to like pull it up over my belly to sit down. That is not actually the case. I then tested that. So I'm going to sit down and you can see it's fine. So that's really good news that I can sit in this <laughs> and not um, like bust the zipper or something like that. But I will, it's, you know, it's definitely tight, but it's not uncomfortable. Like I'm trying to imagine like sitting around a campfire um, or, you know, whatever, riding in a car or something, I think it would be okay. Uh, obviously I wish it was like slightly bigger, but like, honestly, how many times can I say honestly? I wish it was slightly bigger, but also I'm very grateful to have this because outdoor retailers don't make this kind of like gear, technical gear, uh, in larger plus sizes. So I'm very happy. It's like, you know, on one hand, <laughs> on one hand, it's like annoying to like, feel grateful for kind of scraps, you know, not that it's scraps, but it's like Torrid is like throwing me a bone by making a ultra light packable puffer jacket, which is like technical outdoors gear. Um, and so like, thank you for making it, but also I wish that it was better quality, you know, like it had the dual zipper that goes up and down that it, um, you can just tell like, it's not like, technical outdoor gear quality, which is fine. But wouldn't it be nice to have access to the same gear that straight size people have access to? Yes, like there's a reason why, oh my God, not to go off on a big 
soapbox or anything, and I'll talk more about this at a later date, but uh, I'm partnering with my friend Mark to do a paper and probably also a book and original research on um, institutionalized discrimination in the outdoors world um, against people in larger bodies um, and people mostly yeah it's really just about like fat hikers but we're talking about accessibility in general but anyway there's no research there's literally not even research about this we have to create our own research because there's none that we can just use um so on one hand that's really cool that we get to be the people that like start that off whoa but also like there's tons of research on outdoor themed things with like smaller bodies Do you know what i mean it's just like very frustrating but um, I'm very happy to have this jacket because I have not been able to, up until now, have a lightweight, like an ultralight, packable puffer jacket that has a reasonable temperature rating, so I am excited to have this. Do I wish that it was like a higher quality and like more technical? Yes, but in the meantime, I'm happy. So I'm just going to show you how it packs down. Um, and you could probably keep this attached. My husband was like, why would you keep that attached there? It's like, so you don't lose the bag, um, which sounds like something I would do, but I'm just gonna take it off for the purposes of our demonstration. Honestly, I'll probably keep the bag attached because otherwise I'll probably lose it. Um, so here we go. I just wanna show you the size that it packs down to. Cause like, this is why it's helpful and important to have something like this because you could pack this down into the stuff sack and it doesn't take up that much space. So if you're backpacking, right, so you have to carry everything that you need on your back, you only have a certain amount of space and a certain capacity of what you can carry. So this is like a pretty good size for a jacket. Now, a real technical jacket would pack down smaller than this, probably, um, but also it's a size 5X, so it's just going to take up more space than like a size small packable puffer, you know, would probably take up a much smaller amount of space. So for me, I think this is good. And also, like, I could squeeze out more air from this, but the quality of the bag is not like amazing. I will maybe get. A really good quality smaller stuff sack that I can really kind of get more air out of because like I can squeeze it down more but anyway so this is really good um, so I hope that's helpful for the people who would ask to um, see it on and then nobody asked to see it packed up but I'm showing you anyway <laughs> uh, I hope that that's helpful if you are also looking for a packable puffer jacket or you're just curious um, yeah it's not the best, but it is certainly very nice to have it. Thank you so much to the supporters who make it possible to create this content. If you've enjoyed my videos, learned anything, been inspired, or just want to keep seeing more content, please show me some love and consider supporting me on Patreon or coffee.com to make a one-time donation. Your support means everything to me. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you, your presence, your engagement, and our community. All the links will be in the description box below.